Buongiorno, buongiorno, buongiorno. Good day, good day to you. See, uh, I don't like saying good morning. I don't like the morn when I wake up. I like my day to be beautiful, so I like to say good day. So, good day to all the Eagles fans out there. I'm out in Joshua Tree, and this is Wentz Watch. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm going to tell you right now, I do not like Carson Wentz. I'm going to be evaluating him versus uh, Jalen Hurts all season. So, this is Wentz Watch. Uh, I met Carson Wentz personally, and I do not like him. I do not like his character. I made a video. that's already up on YouTube. Um, I am the Garden State Cowboy. Um, so, I'm Finn Dog. So, and I'll be reporting on the Eagles. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, first off, this is my, this is my first... Uh, um, uh, video in the genre of sports casting. Uh, I used to be uh, uh, a college radio station. So I have a little background. I used to be a statistics thing with, with 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 when I was growing up. So I love you know I was the guy that, like memorized all all the Super Bowls, all the stats, all the MVPs, and all that. So I was you know they're like you should be an announcer. So you know got into the radio, got into the music biz. You know now I'm out in the California desert. And I'm getting really excited about the Philadelphia Eagles uh, season. It really, really is reminding me of uh, 2017, the second year that Doug Peterson took over and we won the Super Bowl. I'm getting that kind of vibe that we've got a young talent, we've got good veterans, we've got good leadership and a good quarterback. And, you know, I'm feeling really good about that. So let's just get into it. So, like, um, Carson Wentz was 10 for 13, 74 yards. Um, uh, uh, took drove the Washington Commanders down and got a touchdown. He looked kind of shaky. It looked like the same Carson Wentz that he always looks like. There was a he had a fumble. Well, he didn't fumble at the. Um, there was an exchange. Um, and the running back uh, fumbled it, and then he looked like the same Carson Wentz as always. Deer in the headlights, you know, you know, you know. He looked good in the beginning, and then. Uh, Carolina won the game, and then uh, uh, Washington Commanders tried to mount a comeback. But I'm telling you, if if the game played out the way that it played out and Carson Wentz was starting, that would be the same scenario. Carson Wentz would have thrown that interception in the key moment in the game, and when pressure is applied to Carson Wentz, he would have he choked, and they would have lost the same way that they lost to the Carolina Panthers in a, in a real game-time situation, and it would have been Carson Wentz's fault. But, you know, before we get into Jalen Hurts' stats, I want to say, what do you think of my uh, – my glasses, these are very, very unique. I call them the Ben Franklins. So you can't find them anywhere. They don't make them anymore. So I hope I don't break them. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into Jalen Hurts' stats. And he looked good. He looked really, really good. He looked like he knew the offense. So Jalen Hurts was 6 for 6, 80 yards, one sack, and one touchdown. So what I was really impressed about Jalen Hurts, and he had two, uh, two long passes, 28 yards to Quez Watkins and 22-yard touchdown to Dallas Goddard. Beautiful. And what I liked about it is um, uh, A.J. Brown wasn't there. I mean, he was there. He didn't have a target. So, and Devontae Smith wasn't there. So his two best receivers wasn't there, and he, 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 he hit the ball. Cleanly, he got the ball out to Miles Sanders in the backfield, and, you know, he looked methodical. They had two penalties, and he was sacked, and he overcame that. Like, it didn't matter. He looked like he knew what he was doing. He looked like he knew the offense, and everybody looked great. And then and then on the defensive side, you know, within, like, three plays, we get an interception and all uh, white, you know, looked awesome. Everybody looked good. Uh, uh, Davis looked awesome. Uh, the Kobe Dean looked awesome. You know, all these free agents, our first team and second team look awesome. We look like, you know, I understand it's a preseason game and, you know, but we look like we're, we're, we're about business this year. And that's what it, what it looks like is we're putting the league on notice. We're about business. And that's why I like, 
um, a Jalen Hurts. He's about business. He doesn't make excuses like Carson Wentz, okay? Carson Wentz walked away, okay? He walked away. The Eagles gave him $100 million. He was a nobody. He came out of North Carolina State, you know? And he did good the first first year, first two years. And, you know, I get it, 11-2. But the reality is that Doug Peterson put in an offense before the season started and ran with those RPOs with Nick Foles in the beginning of the season. And, and they decided, hey, you know what, Carson, you don't, you're not ready yet, just yet. We're going to go with Nick Foles in the beginning of the season. We were one 11 and 2 you know why? Because we were the best team in 2017 and 2018. You know, we just were. Nobody was beating us this year. That's why we won with a backup quarterback. One of the greatest backup quarterbacks of all time. And I get it. I get it. But he plays good for the Eagles, okay? And that's all that matters. He won a Super Bowl for the Eagles. And then Carson Wentz couldn't take it, you know? And, and he quit. He walked away from the Philadelphia Eagles, you know? And then all he had to do to change the narrative of everything, all he had to do was win an Indy. All he had to do was beat Jacksonville, and he couldn't do that to change the narrative. So now he's got to start all over and prove it again, you know, and he's proved it. Like I said, I met him personally, you know, he talked, he walked away from me and turned his back on me and refused to shake my hand. And so anyway, well, I am going to go. I am not really reporting on the Eagles. So, you know, and hey, I, I, speaking of reporting on the Eagles, you know, and I want to give a shout out to YouTube uh, content creators, and I hope you guys... Uh, take a, a listen and check out and give me some pointers, but Philly 500 and Lord Brunson, you know, they're awesome YouTube content creators and, you know, they inspire me and they're, they're on point. They know what they're talking about. You know, you got all these mainstream media, you know, and that's what they do. It's like they're creating all this, this discourse. It's like, we just won the Super Bowl a couple of years and we got to retool. You know, we used to be losers. We got to get out of that mentality. Okay. Yeah. You don't win every year. Okay. You're not going to win every year, you know? The only people that do that is Tom Brady, and he cheats. So, you know what I mean? So, anyway, piece of chicken grease, I'm out.